Greetings and salutations, this is your boy Domingo Martinez and today I'm going to show you how to utilize a relay contact to operate any type of large appliance that requires a large power source. For instance, we have an external power source here of 12 volts. You can change that to any kind of voltage you would like, but we're going to keep it with 12 since we're lighting a light bulb. This light bulb is going to represent some sort of lamp that could be plugged into the wall uh, powered by AC voltage. So if you look at your uh, relay contact here, it operates with or it can operate up to 125 volts AC, 24 volts DC with 3 amps current. Okay, so let's go ahead and control that with the Arduino Uno. So you can control any type of appliance with a small or relatively small voltage source powered by the Arduino here. So the Arduino is going to act as your control, your control circuit here. And the control circuit, which is activated by the Arduino, is going to control the load circuit here, which is the light bulb. And these two circuits are actually completely separate. They don't touch at all. The only connection involved here is through the relay contact. So when current is flowing through this wire here located at pin 10 on your Arduino, it's going to go into the relay contact. And if you look at this uh, graphic here, the current is going to flow through this coil. So there is a coil embedded in your relay. As the flow, as the current flows through this coil, it creates a magnetic flux, which then um, it, it turns the switch on. So it changes whether it's going to be a normally closed contact or normally open contact. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this operates using block-based programming. So we're going to control this lamp with block plate block based programming so we can either control it with the push button one or push button two so let me show you how to do that real quick and let's go ahead and create a variable I already have one here called push and push is going to represent my first push button I'll go ahead and create another variable here I'll call it push two and that's going to represent my second push button Okay, so the objective here is going to be to allow your light bulb to light with either or push button one or push button two. Okay, so if you notice, your push buttons are located at pin two on the Arduino and pin three on the Arduino. So let's go ahead and set those to the input values. Okay, so we have two inputs located at pin two and pin three. So we're going to read the digital inputs at pin two and we're going to set it to push. We're also going to read the digital input on pin 3 and we're going to set that equal to push 2. Okay, and you can actually visualize that information when we push our button. So if we want to display that information, we can print it to our serial monitor. So let's go ahead and print the first one and we can print the second one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and print the second one, but I'm going to print it with a space in between. So that way you can kind of clearly see what's going on. So I'm going to print push, and then I'm going to print push two. And I'm going to type a few spaces in here just to allow some space in between those two values. So the first variable here is going to be printed without a new line. And the second variable is going to be printed with a new line so that way you can clearly distinguish between the two push buttons. So if I push the first one you'll see it's a 1, if I push the second one you'll see it's a 1. Okay, so we're going to use this information to control our light and we're going to utilize a if-else statement. So let's go ahead and drag out this if-else statement and in your if-else statement you need to supply some sort of logical argument here that needs to be satisfied and that logical argument is going to be an OR statement. So let's do an OR statement first. Now let me zoom out so that way you can clearly see what I'm trying to accomplish. Okay, so we're going to have an OR statement. And this OR statement is going to indicate we either push the first button or the second button to activate our light. Okay. So to push the first button, we simply say, hey, when our variable push is equal to one, because as you clearly saw earlier in your serial monitor, when we push the button, you could visibly see a one on the first column. 
if we push the second button you can clearly see a1 in the second column so this is our or logic statement here and let's go ahead and say when push 2 is equal to 1 right we're gonna light up our lamp so either one is gonna work for us so let me attempt to bring this downward into the if else statement okay so we're gonna just insert that into the block and since your since your light is going to be considered an output device right your um, lamp here the output device that controls it is located at pin 10 so on the control circuit your uh, pin 10 here this wire connected to pin 10 is your control control switch so let's go ahead and indicate that we have an output that needs to be turned on and this output is located at pin 10 and otherwise we're going to go ahead and turn it off so let's set pin 10 to low so if I start my simulation let me take a look at this if I hit the first push button you'll see that my lamp turns on if I hit the second push button you'll see that my lamp turns on so here's a clear way that you can control large-scale appliances with a relatively small control uh, control logic using the relay thank you and please subscribe